Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 10 out of Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, as y'all can see by the title, we got a Florida Man video. We're just going to jump right into it. Now, if you ever want to kill some time and find yourself on the dark side of YouTube, just type in Florida Man, and I promise you won't be disappointed. I mean, it was only days ago, a Florida man with a gunshine state tattooed on his forehead called 911 twice, demanding a ride home from police. They gave him a ride to the county jail after finding weed on him and charged him with misuse of Uber 911. But in today's case, Florida man Thomas White was arrested for beating his girlfriend after she changed the channel during the Super Bowl game. On February 7th, 2021, police responded to the Scottish Inn Motel in reference to a battery. Officers made their way to room 206 where they encountered a male and a visibly injured female. The two claimed to have been in a romantic relationship for two months now, and during that time, they've been living in various motels. Thomas White, admitted to becoming angry after the woman changed the channel during the Super Bowl game. He stated she was running her mouth and that it was her who swung at him, slapping him in the face. He told police he then, in self-defense, punched her and she fell. He wasn't able to say how many times he actually hit her and he didn't have any visible injuries, but his description of events just weren't consistent with how fucked up she looked and how much blood was in the room. She was bleeding significantly from multiple areas of her face. She had a cut under her eye, another cut and scratch under her chin, her nose was bleeding, and her left hand and wrist was visibly swollen. There was a decent trail of blood drops outside of room 206 and even more blood on the walls and floor of the motel room. The woman was transported to a local hospital for her injuries and officers took photographs of her injuries at the hospital. Two witnesses in a nearby room gave sworn statements of what they could hear through the wall and Timothy White was arrested and charged with felony battery. But this wouldn't be the first time he's faced a charge like this. White has a previous felony conviction for a felony battery on a pregnant woman causing great bodily harm. Now in my humble Caucasian opinion, the first thing that I want to point out about this video, if you're living in a motel room, why the fuck are you worried about the Super Bowl? You live in a motel. The last thing you need to be worrying about is if you're copping that new fucking Brady jersey tomorrow once they win. And I mean, I don't know if she was a KC fan or maybe just whatever he was acting crazy, she was acting crazy. In no way, shape, or form do we want to downplay domestic violence. It's serious. But it's just like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Like, he's 55 or 50-something. She's 38, right? So there's a decent age gap. What the fuck are y'all doing together? Y'all living in motels. You're fighting. And this isn't his first time beating on a woman. He didn't just hit her for her to be that fucked up in the face and bleeding. He beat her, right? And he has a conviction for beating a pregnant woman. And I'm sure with someone who repeatedly finds themselves in this type of situation, he's most likely beat other women. Because you don't just slip and fall and get hit with a bank robbery. You don't just slip and fall and catch a sex charge. Things just don't miraculously fucking happen. If you have two different cases where you're beating women... I'm going to assume that's just the type of shit you do. That's the type of guy that you are. And the stupidest fucking aspect about the whole thing, right? Is at the time when he did this, there's no more watching the fucking Super Bowl. You just beat us, so you're not watching it. The cops are here. You're still not watching it. Now you're going to fucking jail, so you're definitely not watching it. If the Super Bowl was that important to you, that the only reason you secured this motel room was because of the TV and the free cable, you would think you would go out of your fucking homeless way 
to make sure you don't jeopardize that situation. And if she changed the channel, you could have simply changed that shit back or removed her from the room without it getting crazy. You don't have to hit a fucking female. Now, I don't know how this case is gonna play out. I mean, he admitted to doing what he did. She admitted to what he did. And then you got witness reports. So it's like, it's clear cut. He already has a felony conviction for something similar. This is a felony offense. He could be facing up to five years in prison for what he's charged with. And I don't think anybody in the NFL is going to pardon him on this fucking case. But for the men out there and for the jits out there, don't be putting your hands on females. That shit ain't cool. That shit ain't respected. With that being said, it's 1090J. I'm rocking with y'all and y'all rocking with me. Till next time.